In this video, I will explain about endometriosis. The tissue lining inside the womb is known as the endometrium. If this tissue is present anywhere outside the womb, the condition is known as endometriosis. Endometriosis affects as many as 1 in 10 women. Uh, let me now tell you about the symptoms of endometriosis, how it is diagnosed, how can it have an impact on fertility and what are the treatment options. The most common symptom of endometriosis is pain. Having severe pain during periods, chronic low backache, lower abdominal pain. Some women have pain during intercourse or pain while passing stool or urine. Some women with endometriosis do have heavy bleeding during periods or there might be intermenstrual bleeding. Endometriosis does affect fertility. As many as 30 to 50% of women with endometriosis find it difficult to get pregnant. How is endometriosis diagnosed? Now the diagnosis can be difficult. Your doctor has to suspect endometriosis based on your medical history. Sometimes an ultrasound may uh, show endometriosis if it is present on the ovaries in the form of chocolate cyst or endometrioma. If the endometriosis is impacted, the tubes leading to fluid distension in the tube or hydrosalpics in the tube, that might be seen on ultrasound. The definitive diagnosis of endometriosis is only done at laparoscopy. However, all women with endometriosis do not need laparoscopy. The need for laparoscopy needs to be individualized based on your symptoms and your fertility plans. So how does endometriosis affect fertility? It may be because of scarring, inflammation or fibrosis which may lead to damage to the tubes. It may be because of low egg reserve. Uh, how to treat this fert infertility depends on other factors like your age, how long you've been trying to conceive, do you have any associated pain symptoms, are there any other fertility factors like does your husband have a reduced sperm count, if you're young, if your tubes are normal and patent, if there is no male factor, you might be able to continue trying naturally or your doctor might advise you to go ahead with IUI. If there are associated factors like low sperm count or blocked tubes, your doctor might advise you to go ahead with IVF. The other ways to manage endometriosis is to do regular exercise or regular yoga which can help in easing the pain associated with endometriosis. Many women need to take painkillers or anti-NSAIDs uh, for relief of pain. When not trying for a pregnancy, your doctor might give you contraceptive pills or progesterone pills or danazole. When trying for a pregnancy, the treatment will depend on the presence or absence of any other fertility issues. Thank you.